Hey guys, so today I have a beautiful miracle from Saint Marina of Andros. And this is Saint Marina here. And she's normally depicted with a hammer bashing the devil. Also, apart from this video, I will speak about this here, which is Ayomiros, Holy Mirror, from Saint Marina in Andros. But I'll speak about it after the miracle. So in October 2000, the Vasiliu family had their son, Andrea. He was approximately five years of age and he suffered from leukemia. So little Andrea, he needed a bone marrow transplant. So what the family did is they, they were actually in the Greek media, which I will show you in a second. And they asked if there was um, a, a donor as such for little Andrea. So this is Mr. Vasiliu, which is the father of little Andrea. That's our beloved Saint Marina. And there's little Andrew when they were on national TV in Greece asking for a donor. So thank God, eventually a donor was found. Meanwhile, they contacted the monastery uh, of Saint Marina in Andros because they heard about all the the miracles that have that have taken place and there the elder said don't worry Saint Marina will be with you during the surgery now because in Greece unfortunately they couldn't perform the surgery um, we're talking the year 2000 so the only place where it was advanced enough to do it was in the USA. So the family has flown over to Texas for the surgery. And on the day of the surgery, the mother, she called up the elder at the monastery in Andros and said, please pray. Today is the day that our son Andrea will be having the surgery. And the elder said, don't you worry. Saint Marina will be with little Andrea in the operating room. So the time has come where all the surgeons are meeting for the pre-operation meeting. And all of a sudden, um, a female enters the room. The surgeons from America have asked her where she's from. And she said that she was the doctor for little Andreas. Now the doctors in America were very adamant that no other doctor, surgeon was to be involved. But this lady surgeon said, I have come all the way from Greece. I'm aware of what his condition is. So I have to be present. So she's finally convinced the surgeons. And what they said was, okay, just before we let you in, just go to the front and leave your credentials at reception. Sign into the registry and then come back for the meeting. So after the meeting, they go in for the surgery and obviously it commences. So during the surgery, the doctor, the so-called doctor from Greece was even guiding the American doctors on how to do certain things the, during the procedure. So when the operation was complete, the surgeon, the head surgeon from America was going to go outside and update the father of Andreas on how the surgery went. And the lady doctor said, ask for permission to sit back with little Andrea. So when the head surgeon has walked out, he said to the father, um, the operation was a success. It went really well. But I just wanna ask you, why did you come all the way to Texas when you had a perfectly fine and competent surgeon that's come all the way from Greece to assist in the surgery. And the father said, we don't have a surgeon. That is the reason why we have come to here, to Houston in Texas, to perform the surgery. So when the head surgeon heard this, he said to the father, she's just asked to stay back with little Andrea. So just let me go back inside and get her for you. So the head surgeon's gone back inside 
The female's doctor has disappeared. He calls all his staff. They are looking around the theatre, um, around the corridors. They could not find this female doctor. And I need to clarify that this story, this part of the story is not coming from the parents that have spoken on um, several radio stations and television. It's coming from the surgeon, the American surgeon. So what happens? The head surgeon comes out to the family, to the Vasilio, and says to them, "We, she's not in there, but I know how we're going to find out who she was. We told her to go and leave her credentials and sign in the registry at the front. So they've gone over to reception, to the administration desk, and she had signed in. And I'm getting goosebumps. And guess what she signed in as? Marina from Andros. That is right. Saint Marina, like the elder said, she will be there in the operating theater. She appeared in the hospital. She was with Andrea. And at the registry at reception, she signed in as Marina from Andros. So you see this beautiful miracle where a saint has physically appeared and even like I um, with with also with Saint Nectario when he appeared in Romania and he wrote down his name as well. Saints are appearing. They're doing the work of God and they are amongst us. All they want is for us to open our hearts and pray to them. So what I'm going to do now after this beautiful miracle is I'm just going to quickly let you know about the holy mirror from that monastery of Andros that my brother bought back. So this here is a little bottle and it's got inside a cotton and on the cotton it's got mirror and that's from the icon of our holy mother, Banayia, which we're actually celebrating soon on the 15th of August. And the icon of Banayia is weeping. So they collect on the cotton here, um, the mirror. And I've had this for over uh, 15 years, I'd say. And it still smells of that fragrant smell that we hear about from mirror. So it's absolutely amazing. And just to let you know, we're up to church number 11 and 12 of St. Paisio, which are the first churches of this beloved saint in Kenya. Uh, so I'll put the link below in the description. And also there is our second charity as well, uh, which is feeding the orphans in Kenya as well. So I'll put those links below in the description. And thank you all. Thank you kindly for watching. And as an unworthy sinner that I am, I pray for you all morning and night. So thank you all. God bless you and your families and take care. Amen.